at Freddie Mac, at Fannie Mae, and at the Federal Housing Finance Agency. If you take dramatic action as a board member and a respected public figure, you can help change the conversation. For those of us losing our homes or living in neighborhoods still suffering the impact of the crisis, this is an emergency. We know one person can't make that change alone, but we know that this gentleman's in a position of influence, and he's a public figure, and we want him to do whatever he can to take action to help us save our homes and our communities. We're here um, in front of the home of Mr. Nicholas Mercedes, who's a member of the MAC, and we have folks from Springfield, Nolan Leaves, in Springfield, Massachusetts, from Lynn United for Change in Lynn, Massachusetts, Presenting millions of homeowners and tenants and people around the country who are being affected by the policies of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which are causing unnecessary foreclosures, unnecessary evictions, and are tearing apart our communities. And we want Mr. Ritzinis to do everything he can to change the conversation and to change the policies of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and stop making our community suffer. And we know that he met uh, yesterday with some folks from our coalition in Providence. And we appreciate that on many of the issues he supports us. So we're not here to protest. Uh, we were just protesting out in front of the federal building. But we are here to deliver a strong message uh, to him that we really need him to treat this as an emergency. Because for our communities, this is an emergency situation. We're seeing people evicted every day needlessly. So we need him to put himself on the line like we are to make the changes that we know and we think that he also knows and agrees are needed. We need Fannie and Freddie to start reducing principal and underwater loans to prevent foreclosures and get the economy going. We need Fannie and Freddie to stop no-fault evictions and let folks stay in rent in foreclosed homes. And we need Fannie and Freddie to allow families to buy back their foreclosed homes at current distress value. They're giving those deals to hedge funds and speculators, and there's no reason they should be doing everything they can to keep families in their homes. We bail them out. They're controlled by our government. They should be serving a public purpose. So here's our message. Um, we've got a stack of letters that have been signed from folks across the New England area um, to Mr. Ritzinis asking for his help in making these policy changes. And you can see it on the envelope. That's the summary. We need his help. Uh, we need Mr. Ritzinis' help to stop foreclosures, to stop evictions, to allow principal reduction, and to change Freddie and Fannie policy. So that's what we're here to, to say. And we're also here um, to demonstrate that these folks keep coming to our homes and evicting our friends, our neighbors, and our families. And we're not afraid to bring the message to their doors. We know that Mr. Ritzinis is going to meet with us in the future. We hope to work with him constructively. So that's why we're not outside picketing today, but we'll also be bringing the same message to other board members and to other officials who have the power to make the changes we need. So we want to get uh, part of Springfield Nolan Leafs, and we also have other community members uh, that live in Springfield who are affected by the policies of Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. Specifically, when you walk through our neighborhoods at Spring in Springfield, you see vacant homes, and those vacant homes are owned by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and they're not being used for the, for the use, they're being uh, just used for, vacant, for, for a vacant home. And that, that doesn't help our community, that actually affects uh, the living conditions of anyone living around it. So we're asking for all no-fall evictions to end, and that we're asking for the National uh, Housing Trust Fund to be funded as well, promised by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. That would create more affordable housing for people who need it, because we believe that uh, everyone deserves a home.